I get news from multiple sources because what I do at Project Censored is analyze news media and we deal in critical media literacy. So I review multiple media sources from corporate media, public media, and m multiple independent media. Um, so given that that's something that I do that we write books about every year, I mean, there are scores of these kind of sources, including foreign sources. Um, so um, I do more of a comparative analysis of the stories uh, that are covered and how they're covered. So while we'll, we'll take a look at how a particular topic is covered in at uh, Fox, CNN, MSNBC, CBS, ABC, you know, NBC, these kind of things like that, and then we go and look and see, um, well, how's it covered on maybe certain uh, left progressive sites, like, like what are the progressive in these times, maybe Amy Goodman's Democracy Now!, uh, these kind of a counterpunch. Uh, on the right, we maybe will go to um, National Review, American Conservative. Um, we, we, of course, uh, you know, at the project, we read also a lot of blogs and things. We also read International, The Guardian uh, in, in particular. Uh, so uh, just a multitude of sites, particularly with different ideological perspectives, so that we can try to put pieces together and not only understand what the media biases are or what may be omitted um, in, these, in these sources, but, you know, also to... Uh, you know, also to, to, to see um, what isn't being covered in any of the sites, right? So it's not just sort of like surveying the media for, well, there's a liberal bias or there's a conservative bias. I think that if you don't survey a wide variety of media, media sources, you're likely missing some part of the story, some part of the context. So, um, again, you know, I, I think, and when I teach these things in classes, I try to have students access as many different sources and sites as they possibly can.